but you don't know what I'm like when you're not here. I wake up alone. I eat breakfast alone. I go to work and I come home to an empty life because I'm just waiting for the next time I'm with you. It's the only thing that's kept me going. It's the only thing I look forward to. Then I can come more often. I can come every day if that'll help. No. No, Sam. I can't get rid of this thing in my head that keeps telling me that you are somehow still here. And it just keeps getting harder and harder to accept the fact that you are never really coming back. You're not. Just uh, playing my out of tune piano. It sounds pretty good to me. Well, that's because you clearly have terrible taste in music. <laughs> hey, butthead. Sorry, I call things as I see them. <laughs> you know, you should be nice to me. I had a rough night. I'm sorry. I've been such a disappointment. <laughs> I did my best on short notice. Mm -hmm, yeah, no, not you, dumbass, before you. Before me? Mm-hmm. What's that? Can you even remember a time in your life before me? These people have no idea, do they? They just wander through their life thinking they are happy, but how could they be? I feel like we are the only ones who have seen behind the veil. When I met you, the universe opened up. The world became both small and gigantic in the same moment. What the hell, Grandpa? I finally had an idea for my thesis. Shut up, Jack. That's not important right now. Grandpa, I have- Shh! Jack, we need to go and get some more drugs. But Grandpa, we just refilled your Alzheimer prescription yesterday. It's in the medicine cabinet right next to you. It's that brain of yours, Jack. You know I don't have Alzheimer's. I only pretend to so I don't have to do stuff around the house for your mom and dad. But no buts, Jack. 